has already been met with several smash and grab robberies throughout the Chicago area. WGN's Dana Rebick live along the Mag Mile where one of them happened overnight. Dana. Well, burglars have hit uh, several stores in the city over the last two days. Three of those smash and grabs happening overnight as these stores are opening to Black Friday shoppers this morning, dealing with all of this cleanup and loss of merchandise. The first incident happened between midnight and 6 a.m. This was yesterday at the Canada Goose store at 800 North Michigan Avenue here behind me. Police say someone threw a cinder block through a front window and got away with merchandise. The other three smash and grabs happened early this morning, all in the 14th district. Around 1.40 a.m., police responded to a burglar alarm at a Foot Locker shoe store in the 1200 block of North Milwaukee and found a shattered window. Someone stole shoes and clothing items from that store. Then about 20 minutes later, another burglar alarm sounded at the North Face store in the 1600 block of North Damon. In that incident, the front doors of the store had been pried open after a walkthrough police found the Defenders got away with numerous coats through the window. You could see some of those jackets left behind on the ground. And the last break in happened at 2.40 a.m. this morning at a cell phone store in the 2600 block of West Division. The front door also forced open and thieves stealing multiple electronics. Back on the Mag Mile, Black Friday shoppers waited in line at the Canada Goose store where you could see the window that was smashed, boarded up, painted black with a wet paint sign on it. That's pretty crazy. Um, I actually didn't know. I didn't notice it, but uh, it's really sad. I mean, to, to take advantage of the store at night and when people come here in the morning and wait in line to get in. Area 5 detectives are investigating all of these smash and grabs. So far, no one is in custody in any of these incidents, and police at this point aren't sure yet if all of the same offenders are involved. Live on the Mag Mile, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Dana, thank you very much.